Welcome to our lecture online. Now notice we have a new example, 27x cubed plus 8y cubed, and we should recognize that as being the sum of cubes. Once we do, once we realize that it's basically the same thing as this, realizing that we have a cubed plus b cubed factors as a plus b, so we take the first two terms here, we write as a plus b, and then we write it as the first term squared, minus the product of the two terms plus the last term squared. So it's first a plus b, then we write the first term squared minus the product of the two plus the last term squared. We're going to apply the very same thing to our example, but it's a good idea to match up what a and b are equal to in our new example. So we're going to rewrite it as slightly as this. 27 can be written as 3 cubed, so this can be written as the quantity 3x cubed plus 8 is 2 cubed, so this can be written as 2y quantity cubed. Once we've done that, notice we can, we can then compare it to this, and then in our example, a is equal to 3x and b is equal to 2y, and then we simply apply that to our factored form here. So this can then be written as a plus b times a squared minus the product ab plus b squared. And now we're going to substitute a and b, what they're equivalent to in here. So this is equal to a is 3x plus b, b is 2y times a squared, which would be 3x squared or 9x squared minus the product of the two, so minus a times b, that would be 6xy, plus b squared, and b is 2y, that would be plus 4y squared. And notice, when you use that technique, when you match it to the general form of a cubed plus b cubed, and you realize what a is equal to and b is equal to in your example, once you've written it in this format, then it's a lot easier to factor it and you're a lot less likely to make a mistake. And that is how it's done. See, I like this approach, so you can just kind of match it up.